In this video, I'll show you how to perform basic color corrections to a variety of clips with Chromatic from Cormelt. Chromatic gives you the full power of a grading suite directly on the timeline in Final Cut Pro 10, including tracking powered by the Academy Award winning Mocha Tracker. Applying Chromatic is straightforward. Because I'm going to work on all these clips, I'll select them all in the timeline, then just double click the Chromatic Grade effect in the Effects pane. With the playhead over the first clip, I'll open the Chromatic floating window and it'll stay open as I move between all these clips. There are two ways to work here. The first is to option click on the clip you want to adjust to select the clip explicitly and position the playhead above it. The second way to work is to click above the clip you want to edit, making sure no clips are selected. And that's the strategy I'm going to use here. The dot on the playhead, which can be red or white, will indicate the topmost clip under the playhead, and that's the clip that's going to be adjusted. This first clip needs an exposure and colour fix, and I can add lows, mids, highs from this menu here. This adjustment brings back the old school three-way colour wheels. Here, I can push exposure in the midtones, as well as pushing the colour of the midtones and the other areas of the image. Watching the scopes here, let me see exactly what I'm doing. Ideal if you like to push towards a specific colour. I'll move on to the next clip by pressing the apostrophe key. I could also use the down arrow key. These waves at sunset are nice, but can be better. I'll add Lift Gamma Gain. Similar to Lows, Mids, Highs, but with separate red, green and blue sliders for each area, this is a precise tool to use when you can see exactly what you want to do in the scopes, and need to raise or lower just one part of the image. You can see here, when I adjust the green lift and the blue gain, that it gives a strong contrasting effect. Moving to the next clip with down arrow, it needs a white balance fix to start. Auto white balance here lets me click on a white or grey area of the shot, like the slate, and it then balances to neutral. If I tick this box, then that also becomes the brightest part of the image. And I can control the strength of that, but I don't want it now so I'll turn it off. I do want to add a little extra brightness on this shot, so I'll add Colour Balance EV as well. This can be used to adjust simple exposure or to adjust temperature or tint. If you've got white balance completely wrong for a whole shoot, this could be a good place to start. Any of these clips can be taken to the next level with RGB curves, and you can add as many adjustments in the stack as you want to without losing quality or speed. Here though, I'll go to the next clip and add RGB curves alone. If you've corrected images in Photoshop, then you'll be familiar with how this works, and a simple Luma S curve adds contrast without pushing data off the edges of the scopes. You can also rescue data lost in the shadows without destroying contrast by raising points at the low end like this. For now though, I'll reset this adjustment by pressing the reset arrow here and start again. I can add points by clicking in the viewer and dragging up and down, which is a great way to control specific parts of the image. If you add too many points, it's easy to select them and press the delete key to get rid of them. You can also go to the R, G and B channels and adjust them separately, giving them a boost, a dip, or increasing contrast. One quick note is that you need to make sure the effect is selected in the inspector to be able to use any of the controls in the viewer. The basic colour correction tools here really expand the ways in which you can correct your images in Final Cut 10. Chromatic is available now from Cormelt.com and there's a free trial available. Thanks for watching.